Hello everybody, this is Johns Hopkins with Baltimore Heritage and we're back with another of our 5 Minute Histories videos. And Today I'm near the corner of Monument and Chester Street in East Baltimore and behind me is the Northeast Market, which is what we're going to talk about today. The market is one of six that's operated by uh, the Baltimore Public Market Corporation. Uh, there's of course Broadway Market in Fells Point and Cross Street Market in Federal Hill, Hollins Market in the Hollins Market Union Square neighborhood, Pennsylvania Avenue Market in Upton, and of course Lexington Market downtown. Each market has its own flavor, if you will, and I think the flavor here could be described as a mix of people coming shopping for lunch from nearby Hopkins Hospital and people coming shopping for fresh uh, produce and meats and seafood. It is a wonderful, wonderful, thriving place uh, uh, here. Um, but let's start our story back in the 1880s when it got started. I think 1881 it uh, traces its roots back to. And at that time, the neighborhood around here was predominantly predominantly immigrants from Eastern Europe, mostly from Czechoslovakia. It had earned the nickname Little Bohemia. The Czechs started arriving in the middle of the 1800s, and by the end of the 1800s, we had thousands of Czech families here. And in fact, we had, I think, the fifth highest number of Czech families of any city in America. As a little teaser, maybe we'll put the other cities, uh, top cities, uh, in the questions at the end of the video. Um, the Czech Baltimoreans gave us a number of wonderful things, including screen painting, uh, that indigenous art form native to Baltimore where you paint your door screen or your window screen uh, to allow fresh air in but also give you a little bit of privacy and then contribute uh, to the public art uh, as well. They gave us St. Wenceslas Church, the enormous church just around the corner that's still going strong today. Um, and then they of course brought their food traditions with them and that was reflected uh, in the market uh, as well. Uh, lots of sauerkraut stalls, stalls selling pickles pickled almost anything you can pickle they were pickling and smoked eels that was a Czech a culinary tradition that made its way to Baltimore. There were uh, Heinholds and Wetzelburgers uh, meats. Um, they, in fact, would run their pigs down Monument Street uh, to Homan's uh, Slaughterhouse, which was not too far away, and then that same day bring back fresh pork uh, for shoppers. There were butter and egg shops like Pullman's and Lasher's, and there were produce stalls like Stolman's and Rothmel's uh, that would get their vegetables from nearby farms and farmers in Baltimore and Hartford counties. And in fact, uh, back then, if you were standing where I'm standing today, you could look out and see farm fields in Baltimore County that were growing produce that would end up being sold uh, right here. Um, things were going very well for the market, and then in 1889, things started going even better for the market. That's when Hopkins Hospital opened its doors, uh, bringing lots and lots of uh, more shoppers uh, to the neighborhood, or to the neighborhood market. Um, and in the 1890s, the market, in fact, had to expand. It was uh, it was going so well, um, and then. It's heyday, there were loads of vendors here. And for example, in 1919, the market master, a gentleman named Herman Heiss, he reported that each day, 365 days a year, uh, uh, without fail, he checked on each of the uh, market's 168 licensed vendors. So things were really bustling back then. But not everything was about buying and selling produce. Uh, the market acted as a neighborhood center as well with lots of different events. One interesting event happened in 1911. 11, a group called the Just Government League uh, hosted an event and made sure that every local politician felt compelled to attend. Their express purpose was to put them on the public spot for what they felt about suffrage. The Just Government League was a group of women who advocated for the women's right to vote. Um, things were going well for the market, but by the 1950s, uh, the market building itself uh, looked a little rattled or a little rattered. Um, none other than Mayor Tommy DeLisandro, uh, he quipped back then. He said, unfortunately, this is the one market that didn't burn. Realizing that might not be the best thing to say uh, as a mayor to the public, he quickly followed up and said, I don't want you to go out and burn it, but something needs to be done. And that something in 1955 was tearing down the, the, the then 70-year-old wooden market and building the market that we have today. There was a three-day celebration uh, and the neighborhood uh, around neighborhoods around here were wildly excited. It culminated in a parade where 10,000 people uh, watched all sorts of acts come down the street 
Street uh, concluding, of course, here at the market. Um, over the years, uh, the market has had lots of different upgrades. I think the most recent big one was in 2015 with a $2 million facelift, and it's still, the seven years later, looks gorgeous. Um, and today, uh, it is thriving. There are 30 vendors. Um, you can come here and get uh, all sorts of lunch, including fried gizzards. And before you scoff, you cannot call yourself a Baltimorean if you haven't at least tried fried gizzards. Um, but you can also get loads of fresh uh, foods as well. Uh, Fellner's meats, jackpot seafood, shore seafood, and then really uh, affordable fresh produce at a place called Monument Street Market. Um, and then just back, as back in the day, we were having suffrage events here. There's all sorts of public events, uh, live music in the summers and February Black History Day events. And then periodically, Hopkins Hospital folks will come over with programs uh, in their wheelhouse on public health and, uh, and nutrition and whatnot. So if you uh, haven't been here before, or even if you have, I'll invite you to come down and be part of a really wonderful public thriving market scene. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.